Hi everyone, welcome back. So today I'm here for a foundation first impression review kind of video. And today's foundation is gonna be the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour full coverage foundation. Just the title alone screams at me and I asked you guys on Snapchat if you wanted to see a review and of course you guys did as always. I did get the shade 51 Caramel Beige um, and I think this is gonna be a good color. On the back it does say it's a full coverage foundation up to 24 hour wear, that's all that it says in the back. It was around 9.99, which is super affordable for a foundation, but I'm just really really excited to see if it will work. I'm just going to like moisturise my skin first, so I'm going to use the Hydrogenous by L'Oreal for dry to, actually it's for normal to dry skin. And then I'm just going to put some of my Body Shop Skin Defence. I didn't even bring corrector so I'm not going to even correct today and see if this foundation can work on its own. So I'm just going to show you guys how it pumps out. So it's quite a thick consistency, it just droops a tad bit. And I think this is a good colour, I mean it's a bit light there but let's see. It definitely feels very like, it feels more on the thicker side. I would say that's a good camera. I originally got sun beige and then when I saw the bottle I was like, no way, is this my colour? So then I had to go get the shade caramel beige. Sun beige is much more, sun beige is the shade below this one and it's much more pinkier. I mean, it's a tad lighter, but it's much more pinkier. I can tell this is going to go ashy around my mouth. I didn't bring any corrector though, so that's okay. To be honest, this is very, I mean, it's not my exact colour, it's a bit light, but for winter, like, I know this would be fine for me. Now, I need to, I need to get my colour corrector, I'll be right back. So I'm going to use my LA Girl Pro Corrector in orange. When you put it on like that, it looks very light. It's definitely like a matte foundation too. That definitely covered the corrector. Put a bit more coverage here. I'm definitely liking the coverage. This is not necessarily like a dewy foundation. I just hope this will oxidize a bit. And I couldn't get the shade above because it was just way too dark. Okay, I'm just going to leave it like that. To be honest, my final thoughts on it is that it's super full coverage. It went on very smooth. It goes on like a velvet matte finish. Look at that. It's not completely matte, but it's definitely like very soft. I mean, I do wish the shade was a, maybe a tad bit darker. I prefer to go a bit darker than a light, but that's okay. I'm just going to finish the rest of my makeup and then I'll be right back to give you my thoughts on it. Right, so I've just done my makeup and to be honest, everything literally went on super smooth, doesn't go patchy, it was just really fine. I did also set my makeup with the Nip and Fab Primer Water because I felt like it's a, it's a bit matte for me so I just added a bit of that to give me some dewiness because it is more on a matte side which is not my most favourite thing. Um, I feel like I don't even need a powder with this. 
a good thing so far is that it hasn't made me dry anywhere else considering that it is a matte foundation it's definitely full coverage it's evened out my complexion it feels nice on the skin and don't feel heavy to be honest I'm happy with it so far but the real question is will it last on the skin it does say 24 hours I'm not gonna leave this on for 24 hours at the time I did my makeup it was like around 6 30 I'm gonna go to work today and I'm gonna keep it on I'll probably keep it on for like seven hours actually no more like nine hours ten hours but yeah I think I'm really happy with it so far but I'll come back later on today and we'll see how it looks like then hi guys so it's now Oh, I need to know the time. So the time is 6.35. It's been exactly like 12 hours that I've had this foundation on. And to be honest, like, I have to be honest, like, it's going strong. There's not one bit where I feel like it's faded out or come off, you know? It's definitely, like, super stay because it's literally stayed on. Even where I've rubbed my nose, it still hasn't really come off. I mean a little bit but normally like with other foundations all of my nose has gone off by the end of the day another thing that I've really noticed is that there's no separation in this bit of my I've got lipstick on my chin but there's no separation like in this section here but I do have smile lines you guys can probably see but I do have the smile lines it's not as bad but it's definitely there and I've definitely tried foundations that don't give me smile lines as much as this one does but it's, I think it's fine. I mean, it is there, but I, I don't mind. But everywhere else, like, it hasn't dried me out. It's definitely, like, really nice. I would definitely still use a setting spray with it because it is very, very matte. So, yeah, I feel like um, the setting spray really helped to keep that dewiness in my foundation. It's just, it's helped also, like, my other, like, my bronzers and gone patchy. It's, everything's intact. I'm just a bit shinier, but I don't mind that. I like that. I don't know, I'm just really impressed right now. Just want to show you guys a quick close up. I'm actually really impressed by this foundation. And would I still use it? Yes. I actually really like it. And also, it did come off light at first but it's definitely oxidized and adapted to my skin tone so i would say to take that into consideration but i'm actually really loving it i'm not gonna lie i actually i'm shocked like after 12 hours if you look at my other foundation reviews by the end of the day it don't look like this it really doesn't so i'm really 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 happy with the foundation the only downside to it is smart lines and they could add a bit more colours to to their shade range, I would think. I mean, I always feel like there should be improvement on shade range. I feel like 12 colours is not enough for... I don't know, it's just not enough colours. So many skin tones out there, so... I feel like their shade range needs a bit of improvement and... Smile line issue, and that's it, really. It is matte, but that doesn't mean it's a bad foundation. It's just that it's a matte foundation rather than a dewy one. I also want to say that the packaging is really really nice look at it it's just like so sleek what would I rate this foundation I think I'll give it maybe is it transfer proof oh my god it's not even transferring on the lid and I haven't even set it with powder I mean a little bit but if it was a different foundation that would be orange do you know what I like about this is like I feel like I could go and hug someone and not leave foundation on their top you know that's the type of foundation I feel like this is. I'd probably rate it a... On my first impression, I think this is a 9 out of 10. Be like a matte foundation, full coverage, affordable stuff. Try this one. And even though I have dry skin, it hasn't even dried me out, even though it's matte, which is crazy. I love it. And you can drew it up if you were setting spray if you want to. If you guys have any questions, make sure to ask them in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this foundation review. And if you have any foundations in mind, let me know in the comments below. I'll make sure, I'll try my best to get it. Give this video a big, big thumbs up if you want to see more reviews. And subscribe if you're new to my channel. I love you guys so, so much. And I'll see you next time.